hey guys and welcome back to finally another plan with me today i'm planning the week of may 29th i believe 28th or 29th until june 4th i believe <laughs> i can't really see it right now the video is really small when i do the voiceover but yeah i'm using this beautiful kit by two little bees who sadly is no longer open at the moment i don't know if it's like permanent permanent or like permanent for the time being i don't know i hope she comes back one day her kids were always so beautiful she's one of the ogs you know with beautiful kids like i've been using her ever since i started planning years ago so it's really sad that she decided to close her shop but you know this um having a sticker shop is very time consuming and i know there's a lot of things going on in her life so i wish her the best um i still have a couple of kits i believe or one or two for a summer spread so of course i will still be using those um yeah this kit was just absolutely beautiful um i love the colors the combination of blue and yellow i had a lemon kit that was blue and yellow i think last year i had a lemon kit or i still have a lemon kit in the shop this year as well but the one last year was also blue and yellow and you guys me and blue that is like my number one color and then paired with yellow i think is so pretty especially this like pastel type of yellow so so pretty um but anyways i've been gone a little bit as you may or may not saw on youtube i'm still very much active on my instagrams my shop instagram and my planner instagram um well more so my shop instagram i'm also picking up my planner instagram as well um but i wasn't really planning so there wasn't really a lot for me to post on there but i've been i've been making some posts in the past few weeks so yeah we're getting this all started again it feels so good to be planning again not gonna lie like planning is just always you know my my downtime my self-care time i just i love it so much still to this day um planning has changed so much over the years like so so much i still remember how i used to plan when i first started and obviously everyone pretty much planned like that but now it's just so so decorative and the people are just so freaking creative like i i always say i'm creative in certain ways in certain parts but when it comes to like these these planner spreads i mean people are just so creative i always get inspired by other people's spreads and what they do and I'm still very much more of a like white space planner so I do have a little bit more white space than some others but I mean that's the beauty of this hobby right everyone just does different things everyone is inspired by certain people and yeah it's just a great community to be in not gonna lie I, I just absolutely love it um but yeah this was a, this week was a while ago I did plan off camera um I did all of my like beginning of the year spreads as well as some spring spreads i still have a few to finish but i'm just going to do them off camera and then just have like these um like started again in summer spreads i don't know if i do every single summer spread but um i'll definitely finish the planner but yeah like i said i don't know if i will record every single one but i definitely just want to be caught up as much as i can um with spreads and then for the new year i will post videos closer to the week when it actually happened um i know it doesn't really bother people you know if you watch plan with me you just enjoy people putting on stickers and basically you know talk about life or talk about certain subjects but i don't know it bothers me personally when i'm so behind um but they are a couple of weeks that were quite interesting um so i do want to you know plan them on camera and kind of have that as a memory but yeah it's just always so fun to go back and look at your planner like i still look at the one from 2019 all the time um even though my planner style has changed a lot and i mean the whole industry has changed since then but it's just nice to look back at all the memories because that was the year i was pregnant with our third baby and yeah just marking down the appointments and then the spread when he was born and all of his first and it's just yeah that's what i love about memory planning it's just obviously the planning itself and then looking back on all those memories so i definitely want to have 
this planner from this year completed because there were there were quite a few things that were quite memorable for me this year so yeah anyways like I said this was a long time ago um this was the week of my dad's birthday who is in Germany um so yeah I thought it was a nice kit to use um this gave me kind of like Greece vibes a little bit with like the scenery parts of it um and we actually went to Greece with my family before a couple of times like I mean, you know I grew up in Germany and traveling in Europe is just so easy so we did a lot of traveling in Europe and Greece was one of those places but I was younger so I would love to go back as an adult with my husband but yeah I don't know it was just a nice kit to use for that week and um I don't know about the spread I used a lot of things from the kit and then as far as icons you guys know I use YT stationery I use crafts by Taui and I use my own icons pretty much and then here and there I also have a couple of Miss and Meow icons I don't know if I use it in spreads I'm just naming shops that I use all the time um and then I also have icons from a couple from Paper Shy, but I barely use those because those are very pink and it's like a very specific pink. And you guys know I like matching my icons to my spreads. So, but I do use them every now and then. Um, and then I also have a few icons from Hello Petite Paper, which I really like her style as well. So yeah, I'm also currently revamping our icons. I posted a little sneak on my shop Instagram. Um, yeah, my style has just changed over the years. I've been looking for like my perfect pink, which is so hard to find. Um, you know, you want, I wanted an, a pink that is like neutral enough to use in a lot of different spreads, but I also didn't want it to be too pink. I didn't want it to be too light. Um, but I think I found like my type of pink now. Um, so that's exciting. And also my style of how I draw them has changed over the years. So I am going to change them a little bit. Um, and then what else what else oh and they're also available in color now so it's five different colors it's a pink a blue a yellow a green and then a grayish beige kind of color um, but you can choose if you want the colorful version with all five colors or just a pink version you know some people prefer that so I wanted to make sure to have both options in the shop um, I don't know the video will probably go up before I post um, the icons so yeah but if you're interested just keep an eye on on that and follow me on my shop Instagram for all of the shop updates of course um, yeah I'm currently recording this at like 9 30 p.m. my kids are in bed um, my husband had a long day so he's also asleep so I'm making good use of this time and doing this voiceover because you guys know if my kids are up like the background noise is crazy sometimes <laughs> so yeah I'm taking advantage of that um, but yeah what I've been doing lately is um, putting down the boxes first like the boxes and the florals because sometimes I used just the florals with an icon to you know again give it a little bit more white space um, so I've been doing that lately to kind of work with my spacing I used to mark I think it was at least five things per day um, but in this planner I've been doing like five things a day and that's been working out pretty well because my life is not that exciting you know if something exciting happens on a day that's still just one thing so all the other things sometimes just seem like so like not unnecessary to mark because obviously it's still something to mark but it's not you know special which I feel like obviously is fine but it's just you know sometimes I just yeah I just have to like look for things to mark if I have too much space so I think four per day is working out pretty well so yeah I'm just really really excited for 2024 um, you guys know I took a little bit of a break from like shop things my shop was still open but I didn't really release a lot because I just was super busy and I don't want orders just you know I just want to I don't, I don't goodness I don't want to have a ton of open orders and I always work as fast as I can but like like I said I have three kids 
or not like I said, but some of you guys know I have three kids and they're all small. They're all under 10 years old. So there's a lot going on. Um, two are in school, but I still have the youngest at home. And I feel like he's really the most clingy out of all the three, out of all three of them which I don't mind at all but it doesn't give me a lot of time throughout the day you know and then we also have a dog he's now one years old or one year old so yeah there's <laughs> there's a lot of things going on my husband has a lot of work trips and we also went on a couple of trips with him and I went with on one with him by ourselves which was super nice uh, again if you follow me on Instagram you saw that a little bit so yeah, but it feels good to be back. Um, I didn't plan on having a big break on YouTube. But again, I was just so so busy. And then when you're busy, you know, time is just flying by so fast. But I'm ready for 2024. I will not have a big break in 2024. I will um, have a lot of short releases. And I'm really excited. I've been really, like I said, I've just really been loving planning again. And that also motivates me to have releases and to, you know, come out with more things. Um, so, yeah, but like when I wasn't planning myself, I just wasn't really motivated to design. And that is like the worst thing for a shop or a sticker shop owner is, you know, if you don't feel motivated to design because that's I mean, that's your business. You design things. Right. So, yeah. But again, I'm just really excited um, to be back. So this is kind of like my comeback video. I think the spread turned out really, really pretty. There's a lot of spreads I said I didn't film that I absolutely loved. Um, but you can always follow me on my planner Instagram, which my shop Instagram is jkcreatesco. And then my planner Instagram is um, Jenna K Creates. So yeah, but I always have them linked in the description down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me um, planning out this spread. Like I said, this was so long ago, so I didn't really talk about the spread. Um, but you guys know, I sometimes talk about the spread. Sometimes I answer questions that people have. And yeah, we're just having a good time over here talking about, you know, random things. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just... I, I, I know I've said it so many times, but I'm just really, really excited to be back. I don't know if you can tell my excitement, but... <laughs> I don't know like this is just my passion and I just really love planning but I've been doing this for a long time and I just needed a little break you know but we are officially back I have a, I have more plan with me's coming you guys know I also upload budget videos but I will definitely have more planner related videos as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time